Good morning. It's so good to be able to speak to you all today. We have gone through two weeks of traumatic experience. It's been unprecedented and uh, a lot of us now have been isolated for a period. The government have brought in social distances and sadly our churches are all closed. But I want to bring you a message of encouragement. I want to remind us that God still reigns in heaven, that he sits on his throne and nothing takes him by surprise. Jesus says, when we see these things taking place, remember that I have told you. And he says that because he knows how worried and how anxious we will naturally be. But let us be encouraged to know that Jesus has everything in control. I'm so glad that there is so much going on in our social media, our WhatsApp groups, Zoom and conference calls. Um, we have been keeping in touch and it's a source of encouragement. Let us continue to do so. We are exploring alternative ways of worshipping and I'm confident that soon we will be able to have Sabbath school, divine service, and even Bible studies available on a Sabbath. I'm also happy to see the conference, uh, given resources, uh, we can now link in on the conference um, streaming sites, these, the websites on Sabbath. So there are programs there. Let us utilize these programs. For some of us, isolation is difficult. And I want to encourage us at this time to especially think of our senior members, those who have been isolated for a while now. Call them, pray with them, encourage them during this time. They need our support, they need our prayers. And even in a practical way, if we can help with little things whether it's shopping or anything like that then let's offer our help let's come together the early church we are told was a church which were of one accord united working together and we experienced the the wonderful um, experience they did when the holy spirit fell down in their midst and so let us continue to pull together as a body and work with one accord. The Bible has so many encouraging words to say and I just want to remind us of one particular passage found in Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 to 31. Reading from the clear word it's a wonderful translation and it simply says, do you not know that the Lord our God is an everlasting God? Haven't you heard that he always was and always will be? He's the creator of the universe. He never gets tired. He never gets weary. His understanding has no limits. He gives strength to those who are weak and energy to those who are weary. Even young men become weak and stumble and fall. But those who wait for the Lord, their strength shall be renewed. They will soar like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and never get tired. The politicians, world leaders throughout this world do not know what next week or next month will hold. But it's encouraging to know that God holds the world in his hands. And he knows the end from the beginning. Because of that, we need not worry. Our God has everything in control. Jesus reminds us, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And because of that, my friends, we need not worry about tomorrow, next week, nor the distant future. Let us anchor our hope in Christ, the hope of our salvation. Let us continue to remind one another, relatives, friends and neighbours, of the wonderful Saviour that is coming to this earth. And in spite of all that's going on, in spite of what the media is portraying, we know 
that he will come for his people and take us to a place which is full of happiness, peace and joy. I pray that we will be encouraged. I pray that we will reach out to one another and pray. And I look forward to many more meetings where we can do so. God bless you as I end with a word of prayer. Dear Lord, as we begin a new day, we just want to thank you for the assurance you have given us in your word. Assurances to remind us that we will never grow weary or weak, that you will rise us up on eagle's wing, wings where we can soar, that even though we see men's heart fail in them, you have promised never to allow our hearts to fear, nor to become weary. Lord, we praise your name and we give you the honor you deserve for you are our creator. You created all things and hold this world in your hands. And because of that, we can rest assured that our tomorrows are certain in Christ. So be with us throughout this day. Watch over each of us. Those who have suffered loss, Lord, we pray you will comfort. Others who are praying for sick relatives and friends, reach out and heal to those who are...